Speaking ahead of the election, some respondents said the era of do or die in politics was over and called on the Independent National Electoral Commission to redouble efforts in order to conduct free and fair election. They advised losers to toe the part of President Goodluck Jonathan, who exhibited sportsmanship even in defeat. They also welcomed the use of card reader for the election, which they said we checkmate electoral practices and advised INEC to conduct itself in a manner that will not jeopardize the electoral process. The initial hiccup that was experienced by the card readers during the presidential election all have been addressed. And so I congratulate INEC for using the card readers for the conduct of the governorship and the House of Assembly elections. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, the card reader is the best thing that has ever happened to Nigerian uh, election. Um, INEC uh, took a bold step to uh, put uh, in place uh, some devices to checkmate uh, rigging and um, electoral malpractices. So let's hope they have worked on them and the card readers will not fail us this time. Meanwhile, Delta State Governor Emmanuel Oduaga has advised troublemakers to have a rethink as election malpractices will not be tolerated. Governor Oduaga said the era of toggling and other forms of election malpractices was over, adding that anyone caught will be prosecuted. I want to make it abundantly clear that troublemakers will not be given a British space before, during and after the election as a full run of the law and waste such people. The governorship and House of Assembly election holds on Saturday. Patience, Osayimabo reporting.